Hi, I was talking to some new friends recently about what we do and shamanism in, in and around Glasgow and anywhere at all really because it's a case of have drum will travel. But these two people I was speaking to in particular don't really know very much about what shamanism is. And that tends to be the case when you say the word shamanism and uh, the best way um, to explain it is if you think of a Native American medicine man. He would be their form of shaman, although the Native Americans don't actually use that word. It's a word from the uh, northern Siberian areas and uh, tribes people, usually the Tungus uh, tribe. And the word means the one, one with eyes to see in the dark or healer. It's a, it's a kind of umbrella term for what we would call uh, in Scotland a spay wife or a wise person. And it's not just shaman, there's the word shamanka which uh, means for a woman normally in different places. But anyway, we were talking about this and we were having a little joke about things and one of the ladies very laughingly said, well, you know, do you dance around fires and do you do this and do you do that? And I was like, well, yeah, we do. We do. We like to make campfires safely and in safe places and with permission. And um, we tend to tell stories and have a lot of fun around the campfire. Uh, but the fire is also a place of community. So that's how we like to bring people together. We do workshops in the open air. And when we can find the uh, locations that will allow us to do it, then we have fire ceremonies and we have wonderful fairy tale workshops. That sounds kind of childish to a certain extent, but these fairy tales, there's nothing childlike about them at all. When we are talking grim, we're talking grimmer than grim because th these fairy tales you actually take part in. The way it goes is that we invite people to come along and uh, you'll find the events marked on the websites and on the blogs and sometimes on Facebook also. And um, the Facebook page is Spiral Heart Healing. And we make a fairy tale night once a month at Lady Wells Crystalline Healing in Glasgow, which is a short form of what we can do. And we found that people really, really enjoy it. So we tell a story, one of the better known stories or one of the less known stories. All are equally powerful. And the people who come are the people who need to hear that story on the night. We have people who come regularly and we have people who only come once. And they get what they need and then they go away. And we get people who come in and go away and come back again. And that's fine too. So basically, what we do is we tell the story. And then we stop. Have a little break and see how everyone's feeling. And then we take everyone into the forest of the Fae. And we take them into the story. And they experience the story for themselves. I wonder if you're wondering just how wonderful that could be.